Hello, everybody. Welcome back to WWTF What the Fast Game Show. I'm Mike right. C. And I'm Fred Wild. Hey, today we're reviewing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Yeah, and joining us today, we got my man Tyrone. Oh. And we got my man Eric. So Eric was gracious enough to let us come out here and experience all this glorious yes, yes, game yes. room stuff. All this. Yeah. Dude, uh, y'all should have a room like this, man. This is awesome. Yeah, you got to. But, you know. Let's review this game, but okay. before we start talking about it, as always, we'd like to give it a number of facts. Mike, let's start off with you. How many facts do you give Mario Kart? Okay, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It feel like deja vu again. Uh, but guess what? I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5, man. Awesome game, bro. Uh, Ty? I have to give it 4 out of 5. Wow. Eric? I'm going to go with Mike. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. All right, and I'm going to go with 4 out of 5. Oh, we split. Yes. Y'all talk or something, man. Y'all had to talk. Y'all had to talk, man. Oh, uh, you'll you'll see why I gave it a four out of five. Uh, Mike, let's start off with you. Why did you give it? Okay, okay. Mario Kart 8. Granted, it feel like deja vu, but guess what? We finally got. This is a portable game. It's a full game, and you can take it anywhere you go. Just pick up and play, man. I didn't feel there was no drop off or drag up in the game, man. Great visuals. They made it look better. I didn't even think that was possible, but the game looked better, man. It just. Feels like a feels like a complete game. You got all the levels, so you don't have to worry about downloading no more DLC. So you get the full thing. Even though a lot of people say this is the same game, man. It it, it is the game, but it's they did some more to it, giving you that portable feel, and you can take it anywhere, man. That's that's the biggest sell off on me in this game, man. You virtually can finally take it anywhere. It feels like a full game. Beautiful look at playing online. It seems seamless. I didn't feel no uh, no drop down when I played online. I just wish. One thing I do wish is that they would add some uh, some chat or something up in there other than, you know, picking up your phone and say, hey, you online? Yeah. What, which one do you want to play? I want to play this one. Okay. Yeah. But if they fix that stuff, man, it will be great. But I'll stick by my rating, five out of five. Mm -hmm. Okay. So piggybacking off what you just said, mm -hmm. the whole concept of having the ability to take Mario Kart on the go, anywhere, everywhere to play, great idea, great concept. If you, if you played it for the Wii U, it's the same game that's just ported over to the Switch, but the biggest thing is it's on the Switch. Mm -hmm. You have everything unlocked, everything's amazing. The game gameplay is just like it was before. It's just awesome. Being able to just kind of bring your Switch and uh, playing with other people who have Switches, greatest idea in the world. Mm -hmm. My little problems, same thing what you said. Mm -hmm. The whole online concept that's not there. It would have been nice if they actually would have introduced this before the game came out, mm -hmm. just to have that communications. It's it's not a deal breaker, but it kind of it kind of makes it a pain in the butt that you have to use another type of technology to communicate with the people online. What happens if they can't do that, or they are have the inability to do that via mm -hmm. phone, or whatever the case may be. People have limited data plans, whatever the case may be. That's a pet peeve. Also, I noticed, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this or not, mm -hmm. um, online gameplay uh, when you're playing against somebody, out of, out of nowhere, people, sometimes you get attacked by these vague or these uh, mysterious magical tools that come out of nowhere. Nobody shot out, shot out a shell yeah. or nothing. You just get hit out of nowhere. Oh, and I, I've seen, I've never <laughs> had that happen before. That's Mario Kart, though. But I mean, no, but, but no, but blue shell, true. blue shell, but, you're about to win. Right? But nobody shot anything out. Right. It was like, it's, it's like a minor glitch mm -hmm. where you get hit from nothing. It's like a phantom, like whatever. And I've had that happen a couple of times that I got hit. Whoa. And I had to talk to, I, I, I can't talk to anybody because I don't have anything <laughs> online there. So I can't say, hey, did anybody shoot something? But yeah. I try to check out because the good thing about the Mario Kart, you can check on the map to see if anybody actually shot something and give you enough time to kind of react. Mm -hmm. So I looked at the map to see if anybody actually hit me with something. Nobody hit me with anything. So it's like this phantom attack. So that little pet peeve and the abilities to stop um, um, my little prize bill when I want to. It's very inconsistent when it comes to the different levels. Right. Those are the pet peeves that are minor, but they're fixable with updates. That's the reason why, for right now, I give it a four out of five. Okay. Right. Okay. All right, Ty. What you got? Well, I'm going to give it a five out of five. Okay. Ty. Eric. <laughs> I'm going to give it a five out of five, and here's why. Because okay. we just played this all together, mm -hmm. local co op. Right. I haven't played a game like this since Goldeneye. Right. You know oh, what I'm saying? Golden eye. So oh, that right there alone. The granddaddy of first person. Exactly. Service and service. this and this kind of brought me back to that. It, you know, I'm sure I mean it's a it's a driving game, but this kind of brought me back to that. And the visuals on this game, awesome. I mean, we're sitting here looking at this, it looks stunning. And this is a little handheld machine. Right. We're sitting here playing it right. on the big screen. Awesome. I think the uh 
the online component is going to be there. It's just not there right now. But I cannot hurt it for that because usually you play either like we're playing it. I, I haven't played it online much, so I can't say, hey, what that experience is like. I don't know if it – do you drop? I don't, I don't know because I haven't done it. But I think it's a five out of five in my eyes. Awesome. Point blank. I like this rating. Go ahead, Fred. Go, go with your bad rating. And <laughs> – <laughs> the only reason why I knocked it down one point is just because of the online connectivity. Mm -hmm. Now, this should have been fixed day one of release with uh, the Nintendo. They had time now because the, the Switch came out must must, must go. Mm -hmm. So they should have had that online uh, uh, chat already fixed because it's hard to try to play with somebody and you can't communicate right. with the other person. Right. And that's why I knocked it down. That online thing should have been fixed. As far as like graphics and gameplay, it is a fun game to play, whether you're online or you have a group of uh, your friends with you. Great game. Visuals are stunning. I mean, this game is top notch. It's one of the best graphical games that Nintendo has on the Nintendo Switch. But it's like it's any Switch game that they bring out that's like their native brand, like Mario or Zelda. Yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be awesome graphically anyway. Mm -hmm. So I can't knock it for that. It's just the, the online community thing is why I'm knocking it one notch. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason why. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's time for a final verdict, Mike. Final verdict, Fred. Right, let's start off with you, Mike. This is the buy rental pass. Definitely buy this game, man. You won't be disappointed, but I also urge you guys to make sure you get an actual controller or play with that little small Kit Kat controller, okay? Because <laughs> your hand will cramp up. Or make sure you got the little power grips up on there. Not, not like this cat, but like me. Uh, but yeah, get it, man. Tom, yeah. buy it. Period. <laughs> buy it. Her? I say buy it, but if you can't buy it, rent it. <laughs> just get it. Just get it. No, no, rent to buy? No. Yeah, rent to buy. However you want to do it, just get it. All right, man, it's a definitely buy, man. You got to get this game. You, you can't go wrong with any type of Mario Kart, right. man. In, any Mario game, actually. It's a good game. Go get it. Yeah, yeah this really brings you back, man. Just with all the added features and stuff, as far as the bomb yeah. blast. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all played that. You just load up on bombs and throwing it. It's mm -hmm. a lot of good little features and little stuff that they added to the game. Bring you back to the Nintendo 64 days with Mario. So. Yeah. Man, man he mentioned something about um, Golden Eye. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it brings you back to those days. Yeah. It, it reminds me of hooking school, <laughs> going, over <my> man, <laughs> going over my man house to play track and field. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of that. So oh, it brings yeah. you back to those childhood days, man. It makes you, oh, man, it, it's a good game. I, I do have to admit. I know I give Nintendo a lot of flack sometimes, but <laughs> this one, yeah, they, they really they really did something with this one. But you, you can tell, with the one thing Nintendo's good at is bringing people together. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's it's, all, it's all about that. It's all about working together, playing, and having a good time. Yeah. And they got that down to a side, so <laughs> you can't knock them for what's been working for them. Anything else to add? That's about it. Hey, man, and I want to appreciate you guys coming in. Eric, come on, man. This is lovely, bro. <laughs> this will be anybody's dream man cave, man. I tell you. Hey, man, I hold on to my wife. Hey, man, you get a good woman like that to hook you up, <laughs> man. Awesome. Awesome. Bro. And almost, also stay tuned for our next episode that will air Wednesday, where we're going to uh, be back here again to review another game. So like always, you guys can hit us up at thegameshowgmail.com. That's Game Show with an A. Don't forget to head over to the Facebook store page where you find all the price products. Don't forget to hit us up on Vita. And don't forget to subscribe from the Gamers Club member. And don't forget about our 500th episode coming up soon, man. Get a lot of nice stuff, man. $10 for a ticket. Can't lose, man. Depending on our participation, you might even get an iPad Pro. Man. Mm. You don't have to find me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you that Xbox that we giving away. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be like Medea. You're going to have to find me in the studio. I ain't going to make it easy for you. Awesome. <laughs> but please remember to like and subscribe to all our social media networks, join our CMS community, and our website community where you can get some free stuff. Right. We'll see you next time on WWTF. You want the facts? The Game Show. See you next time, people watching. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.